Welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock, and today we are going to be sorting out this tunnel, which goes all the way from Spawn Town to our main base. We've got lots of decorating to do, we've got to make this look nice. But now that we've done that, we've actually got a complete tunnel, and that goes all the way to the back of our main base, just over there and connects all the way back to spawn. I don't want to bore you with the building of this because it's very similar to the tunnels we put up last week, but overall, I'm really pleased with how this has come out. We've added a few more details such as the rooted dirt, so we've got these stairs at the side as well, which actually go over towards where Slack is basing. But this was kind of a natural ravine that was already here, so to make use of it, I just put a rock slide on one side and then stairs on the other. So if ever we need to escape this tunnel, we've got a quick exit. So I've made use of lots of barrels and cobblestone walls and all these iron bits and so on, just to make it look nice. I even added a composter in the corner over here and added some bone mill just to make the tunnel a little bit more interesting. The diagonal section here was a little bit more difficult, but we just carried the theme all the way through, and I think that really works and themes the whole area. So with the path between Chaos Tower and our main base area pretty much complete, this area here, however, still needs a bit of work. Pretty much from the tunnel entrance there, all the way to the one we've just done. The bridge, of course, is looking pretty good, but the area around it does need a little bit more work. And in particular, this path just at the top here, really does look ugly and needs a bit of love. I think the addition of some mossy blocks and things like that are going to be a great help, and it turns out you can actually make those using moss blocks. <laughs> Who knew? The comment section, that's who knew, but now I know as well. However, we don't have the bone mill to be able to make use of the moss at the moment, so instead what we're going to do is convert our attic area here into a vine farm. So if we put an oak beam in here, slap some vines down either side, and we can probably put a few down here as well, may as well make use of all the space we've got. We've now converted our attic into something useful, which is good because we didn't want to leave an empty space, but it also means we're going to get a bunch of vines. This area is loaded quite a lot because of course there are a bunch of people living here, so hopefully every time I come past, I can just snip a few vines off and keep them coming in, and eventually we can add some mossy cobble everywhere, and of course mossy stone bricks. That isn't all we're going to need before we get started, however, because I think we also need some more leaves. Yeah, look, we don't have very many leaves at all, so we're going to grab a hoe, I guess. Do I have a hoe? I do, but it doesn't have silk touch, so I think there's only one way to rectify that, and that is, of course, to break into our neighbor's house. Well, it took about 30 levels, but we've now got a silk touch hoe, and we did actually manage to get a fortune one as well on the very first roll, but we'll save that for later. But now it's time to head down the hill, plant a bunch of oak saplings, and start getting some leaves. Oh, we got a beehive straight away. Look at that. We'll save that for later. So in only about 10 minutes, we've managed to get the equivalent of a chest full of leaves, which is great, but they are currently all oak. So I'm going to grab some birch and some azalea. We're going to head back down the hill, and we're going to try and get a few more. And there we go. That is looking a lot better. It's time for us to actually crack on with some terraforming. Nope, it's night time. So I think the first thing I want to do around here is actually sort out this area here because it kind of lends itself to some kind of a mountain spring, just a small sort of waterfall coming down into a rock pool and we could even carry it on down there maybe, but mainly this top bit here I think could really do with a bit of detailing. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of try and work out a shape for that using many different stony things. The sun's just gone down and it still needs a little bit more, but it's definitely looking a lot better. I think I just need to get a bit of andesite in there, maybe reduce some of the mossy cobble. I think I might have got too much of it now that I've got hold of it. But I do like the way that this all pulls. We've got like a little barrier here. I do want to figure out what to do exactly with this. But for now, we're basically just hiding it with leaves, which is fine. Get out. But overall, I think that does add a nice feature. I just want to kind of figure out what I'm going to do with that really now. You as well. Right. Safe to say we definitely need more lighting around here who want this to be safe at night. But it is certainly coming along. I'm going to go find somewhere to sleep. We're going to come back and we're going to get this finished. I think a couple of trees might look nice as well. And of course this bank here. And then we still need to sort out the path which is actually what we're supposed to be doing. So I've been faffing around over here for a little while, and this is looking much better. I didn't actually make any custom trees in the end. I decided to force grow some large oak trees, and to be honest, I think that looks really nice, works really well. I've also put some time into doing the path here as well. We've got all the mossy stone and mossy cobble sorted out, so that's all looking good. And up at the top here, once again, we've just put some trees and sorted out the path out the front, and of course, another one of my avatars, just to sort of indicate that that is actually the direction to where our main base will be. 
We do need to get some actual signs up, though. There we go. That will do for now. It's, you know, fairly simple. But once we actually start building over there, we can give it a proper name. I think it might be good to put another sign here as well, just to indicate where this goes, which is, of course, Chaos Hill. And I think that leaves us just about done on that particular area. We do still need to sort out at the bottom of the bridge, though. But I'm probably going to come back to that a bit later in the episode. I might do it off camera. I don't really know. But I've had enough of terraforming for now. So with that done, there's something else I want to focus my attention on today, and that is these avatars. You see, they're great, they're really good, but the problem is you can only get them after you die. So I think it's about time we made that a little bit easier for people to do. So in order to make that easy, I think what we'll do is put some kind of death chamber. Yes, I know you're excited, Ferris, but we'll put some kind of death chamber over at spawn, make it all fun and exciting, and really make people want to use it. So whatever it is we do, I think we probably want to put it in the middle of this sort of mash of shops around here. But in order for that to happen, I probably need to come up with a way of actually doing this first. So I'm going to hop over into a creative world, play around with a few things, and hopefully when we come back here, I'll have some semblance of an idea of how we're actually going to start murderizing people. So I've been doing a bit of planning and a bit of scheming, and I've also worked out that this building here is still very, very empty. And if we put a door on this side, it's actually going to be facing the chess monster, which means hopefully people will actually see it a little bit. And by chess monster, I do, of course, mean the chess monster shop. So if we were to put an entrance here and maybe just bring down this cliff edge a little bit just so we can use this space here for our nefarious deeds this could work quite well because we could have kind of like a waiting room here we can even have a budget kill yourself system that's literally just a pocket of lava in the corner there or something like that but i think for the more fun one i'm gonna make a doorway through here we're gonna need to make a little bit of space but that should be plenty of room to keep that kind of below the mountain and have our fun fun kill chamber in order to get this started however i am going to need to make a bit of space and sort of reorganize this hillside so i'm going to dig out a little bit and then replace it over here and that should give us all the space we need a short while later i've just put a rough cliff edge on the side of the building here and done absolutely nothing in here but i've also dug out a hole down here this is where we're actually going to be putting the redstone and well this is basically going to be the kill chamber we will, of course, make it look nice a little bit later. But for now, I need to work out exactly how I'm going to fit this in. And let's just get started, I guess. So the idea with this for now is I'm going to keep it fairly simple, but there are going to be a couple of ways you can die once you're in here. And how the player dies is going to be entirely up to them, to a point. They'll have a slight hint, but yeah, they're just going to be pressing a button and, and hoping for the best. Or the worst, I suppose, because the only reason to come in here is, in fact, to die. So one of these methods is going to be nice and simple. We're just going to pull out the floor from underneath them, and we're going to drop them through down there to their death. So the way I want to do this is when they first come into the room, they're going to be presented with two buttons, and they're going to be on these two spaces here. And what I need to do now is to hook up the first one of these to the pistons. So a little bit of redstone later, and I believe we have the first one set up. It's a bit spaghetti-like, but that's fine. That's just how I do redstone the important thing is if we press this button the floor gets removed brilliant so the next thing i want to do is have it so that once they walk into the chamber they cannot get back out so for that i'm going to need to put some more pistons on the side here and create a piston door but that should be easy enough there we go a nice simple piston door excellent now we just need to hook up the other button, and this is the more interesting one in my opinion. So for the second option, what we're going to be doing is essentially dispensing a bucket of lava onto them. But for that, I do also need a set of comparators, because we need a comparator clock so that it actually fires the dispenser twice. Once to deposit the lava, and again a short while later to collect it, once it's definitely going to be filling up the chamber. However, as I say, I do need quartz for that. And the slight problem with that is I've not even been to the nether yet. I mean, it's a problem that's easily solved if I just go over this way, but that's not the point. It's a scary place, and I literally have no idea what's going to be on the other side. I do, however, happen to know there's a portal right here. And a sad dog. Aww. So to get this done, we need to jump straight in. Let's just go for it. Well, straight away I can hear a gasp, but it looks like we've got at least some kind of a protection box. Oh my, this, this does look dangerous. Right, a basalt delta. Excellent. Okay, I can see some quartz right over there, but we're going to need more than just that, I think. Ow! 
It looks like there's a few blocks here. We might be okay, but we are being attacked from every direction at the moment. We managed to get 30. That should be more than enough for our current needs. Let's just quickly get out of here. This place is horrible. No wonder I didn't really spend any time there last season. So in theory, to get this working, all I need to do is put an observer here and then get some comparators in here. Although I may need a couple more. And there we go. So the easiest way to check this out without actually killing ourselves is probably just to put a couple of items into the dispenser. There we go, that'll do. So let's press this. And then hopefully a short while later that'll fire again. Perfect. So that should dispense the lava and then collect it again, and that should leave long enough for the lava to actually pour down. The beauty of this is because the player is going to be standing here, when the lava comes down, the button is actually going to prevent it, and it's going to start to go round them, so they're going to get a full sense of security until it pours on the floor and melts them. Now we've got all the redstone working, what we need to do is actually make this look nice. We also kind of want people maybe to the people dying so i'm wondering if we maybe actually use glass on the entrance way here so that if someone is getting melted we can watch them if they fall through the floor we can watch them and so on and by so on what i mean is this is the first kill chamber there may well be other ones added in future so if you do have any ideas for additional ways that we can kill people then please do let me know in the comments and we'll see what we can do i mean there are of course numerous ways we can kill people but the uh the limitation i guess is my redstone ability so we're fairly limited so i've got it all blocked off i just need to decide what I'm actually going to do in order to make these walls look good. We're still kind of limited on resources at the moment and I do also sort of want to turn this bit here into some form of reception slash waiting area. But while I think about how I'm actually going to decorate this and what resources we're going to use, we do still of course have another job to do and that is down here. We have a very very deep hole to dig. I think I also want to take some torches with me because it could potentially be quite a deep hole and I've only got one on me. So we're going to quickly pop home, grab some torches and then just dig a massive hole. And I guess I'll probably see you once I'm at the bottom of that hole, trying to work out how to get back up. So I've started to make this place look a little bit nicer and our hole is down there and ready. And I think we're ready to test the kill chamber. So you may notice I've removed absolutely everything from my person and that's because I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to set my spawn here. I've got everything in my chest. And I think I'm ready to go in. So once you go in here, you are trapped. And you're presented with a choice of one of two buttons. And I think first off, I'm going to try the lava button. So that, in theory, should fire the lava. And that's going to pour on me. But if I try to hide here, false hope, false hope. And then burning, lots of burning. Well, that worked a treat and it did scare JC a little bit, which is ideal. And now we're going to test the other one, which is just quite simply. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, that one works a treat as well. Excellent. And the good news is we managed to get a couple more of our heads from that as well. So the kill chamber is working exactly as designed. And of course, the lava has gone from the first step as well. I should have thought about that. I've just trapped myself in here again. Burn me! Burn me! And once again, when we open this, you can see the lava has gone. So that is working an absolute treat. We just got to make the rest of this place look a little bit nicer because currently... Well, it's a bit of a mess out here, really. There we go. I think that will do for now. I've added in a few little details, some signs telling people what to do, of course, and a dead me on the floor. But I've also got a me here doing a star jump type thing. Don't quite know. And most importantly, there's a night outside and a sign for free inflatables. So I guess we're kind of ready to try and coax some people in. We've also got Derpy Groover here representing because I had a Groover head lying around in Groover's house over there. But don't worry, I didn't build a secret entrance into that one. Get out of my pond. Beauty, is this you? <gasps> oh. Yeah, that was, that, I was so good. I, I, I got a bit bored with the, the view on my horse. Look at you two with your wings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't Do got you that need No, nah. no, I'm good. I'll, I'll go get some at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have pretty much demolished the end, so. <laughs> I'll come to your house and get some at some point. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've called you over here. Um because mm -hmm. I've, I've I've been working on a little something. Because obviously Foxy's been very, very kind and um made made a new pack to create all these things. These mm -hmm. infla inflatables. Yeah. Although <laughs> th this one scares me a little bit. It's kind of terrifying, that one in particular is, yes. I, d I yeah. do look good in red though. <laughs> I mean it suits you, it suits you. <laughs> like with the little backpack as well, no doubt. Yep, yep, you got that looking good. But 
My, my, my problem is, like, I, I kind of want more. And, you know, last season I was trying to get everyone's heads and I did the whole long quest and that was all just a big ploy to try and kill people, which was great, but then people didn't give me their heads anyway because... I, th I know where this is going, Jesse. They didn't want to cheat. But, no, no you, you didn't see any messages in-game earlier. But if you, if you come up here, if you come up here, this is purely a choice thing. Like, you know what you're getting yourself into. But basically, there's a, a free inflatables shop. Right. <laughs> So if, if if you go in here, you can you can get your own inflatables. You can get whatever you want. All you have to do uh -huh. is walk through that door. I mean, I mean, okay. Well, oh, is there somewhere to put our stuff? Oh yes, yeah. Look, I'll test look, look. it. I'll yeah. test it. Excellent. I'm not sure that I'm I'm happy. I'm not sure that I'm happy about it. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. Like you get a choice once you're in there. It's you know, it's not a case of one size fits all. You know. Get a choice. Okay. Oh, oh, the choice oh, when we oh, get in there, so oh, you're yeah. intrigued now. Yeah, there's, there's definitely choices. You've got your armor off, set your spawn. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. And then go nice and safely through the door. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. Okay. See ya. I have 170 levels. That's. Oh. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lose these, right? She's about to have zero levels, Jesse. <sighs> the long route. I could take the yeah, long route or the s'mores. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're both perfectly not safe. Jesse, left or right? <laughs> left. Always I left. I okay. Should, I should have put a glass door on it, shouldn't I? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, look, and then she pops up back here again. The system works. Yay. And they've got a head. Ah. I kind of want to go again, but don't, don't you I mean, want to try it out, Jesse? I, 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 I feel like you and I hate I hate you for it a little bit because now I'm curious. Yeah, I okay, mean it's good fun. Out. It's really good fun and 100 percent safeish. <laughs> I kind of feel like I should replace that door with glass. Give me a sec. All right, all right, all right, yep. all, right all right. Okay, I, uh, so it'll be fine. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do it. It's fine. It's. it's I fine. really was fine. You you could have done this before I purposely killed myself earlier. Ugh. Okay. I mean, technically, I've been working right. on it for a couple of hours, so it kind of depends when that was. <laughs> it might have already been here. Yeah. I mean, no, it wasn't. I did this the other day because I wanted three inflatables for three heads. But now, you know, fine. It's fine. All right. Here we go. Some more. Is so, and the best thing is, you're going to think you're <laughs> safe at first. You're going to think, oh, everything's fine. Oh, 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 is, oh I'm fine. Look, it's all it's all gone oh. round me. <laughs> no, not happening. Oh, oh I'm so good. Excellent. That was actually oh. quicker than mine. <laughs> well, that one is literally no. called the long route. <laughs> you know, <laughs> the thing is, I knew exactly what was going to happen. Yeah, I know, and I you still did it. Oh, I did. I did. How long Man. did you spend standing right. on magma trying to get rid of Cursor Binding earlier? <laughs> oh, it was 20 minutes. Literally 20 minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Worth it. If ever you get the urge to come back, you know where the chamber is. I'm well, going before I'm tempted. <laughs> yeah. I'm Excellent. hiding out here. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, bye, Thanks, Beardy, bye. I think. <laughs> well, it's nice to know it works, but I think I do want to replace this whole door with some proper glass. So I'm going to run off and get some bits to make that look a little bit better. But then I think we're pretty much done with this place, at least until we get a few more donations. And then, of course, we can, you know, kit it out with a few more dolls and maybe even make some kind of trade point so people can swap with other people and so on. But for now, I think it's time to go.